Hi guys. So this is pretty new. Um, I am filming in my car. I realized I have like a thing to hold my phone for when I'm driving um, with GPS and I was like, oh my God, I can like drive and talk to the camera. So this is gonna be weird because I wanna like look at the road but I like wanna look at myself. So like I'm gonna try my best not to look at myself. My glasses are gonna have like a really bad glare. Hopefully this angle isn't too unflattering. Um, but I am on my way to Half Price Books. Um, it's their coupon week, so yesterday and Friday was the 40% off coupon, and today is their 50% off coupon. And you can go, hopefully you don't hear my air too much. You can go to any location um, and use the coupon. So I have five that are by me that I'm gonna go to today um, and use 50% off coupon on my highest price items. So I've already gone to two of these locations twice already. I went to both of them on Friday with my sister and then both of them on yesterday, Saturday with my mom. And um, I know what I wanna get, kind of. Um, I'm trying not to buy duplicates, so they had the tie-in edition of Voyager and the Stars tie-in edition. I really want it, but I already own four copies of that book, so I'm not going to get it. And I don't own the tie-in. I do, I think I own the tie-in of Dragonfly and Amber, so like, ugh, I should buy it, but I don't need to. But I really want to buy Storm and Fury by Jennifer Armitrout, so I know they have that at this first location. And they have the Book of the Month edition of The Bride Test. <sighs> It's in hardback and I really want it, but I don't need it, so I don't think I'm gonna buy that. But I really want to, and I have a list of some things I want to look for, like the flat share, which Chelsea from Chelsea Dolly Reads read, and she really enjoyed that. So I don't know if I should get that or not. Um, if I see it, I do want the Raging Ones by Chris and Becca Ritchie, I still don't have that book, but I don't think I've seen it anywhere. Yeah, and then a couple historicals that I want, like I know that Julia Quinn's The Duke and I. Um, it's going to be made into a Netflix series. I don't think I own that one, but I haven't found it yet. So we'll see if they have it at the other three locations. Any indie books. So they had When August Ends by Penelope Ward, but I read that as an ebook and I really hated it. So I'm not going to buy that. They had the entire Killing Sarai series by J.A. Redmersky at another location, like all seven books. But I read the first one, gave it, I think, four stars. So I don't need that either. So yeah. Well, okay. It's already nine. Oh my God. It's three minutes. Of, oh my gosh. What's going on? Am I not allowed to turn? What's going on? They're definitely like fixing the light right outside to get out of my neighborhood onto the main road. And so I had to wait for the cops to let me go by because it looked like the road was closed, but it's okay. I'm getting there. They open at nine and it's like two minutes until nine, but I'm like six minutes away. So it's okay. They don't get there right when they open. It's fine. I'm guessing this will take me about three hours because that's how long it takes me to like do the loop. I'm probably going to be like driving for at least an hour today. Okay, I'm gonna listen to music and I will talk to you guys later. So I ended up getting Storm and Fury by Jennifer L. Armitrout. It was $8. So it's a brand new hardback. So it was $15.20. And then it was like $7.60. And then um, sales tax. So $8 for my first sign. I decided to leave the book of the month edition of the Pride Test which I don't need. And they have Voyager at the next one, I know, and I really don't need to buy it, like I said. Oh, the sun. But we'll see. Um, I don't know. I just want to buy all the books. And, yeah. I'm trying to go in and out, but I'm trying to look and see if they've added anything. So, like, they restocked their sales section because it was, like, totally picked over yesterday. But they didn't add anything really good or new to it. So, off to my next location. It's about 15 minutes away. I don't know why that guy stopped, so I guess I can go. And yeah, I'm excited. I feel like I'm like those booktubers who are filming their cars. Like Chandler from Chandler Ainsley does her wrap ups in her car, but she's always parked. I guess I'll talk to you there when I get to the next location. I was thinking of getting, if I'm being honest, which is like that Taming of the Shrew retelling, kind of. I don't know. Um, but I don't know if I want to get like two brand new hardbacks because like that's a bit expensive. So. We'll see. The sun is not in a good place right now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys. I couldn't decide. I sat on the floor in there because they had a lot of second books in series. So they had a second book in a Pepper Winter series. It was like the Lies and Truth series or something. Um, but I didn't. I don't want to buy the first book, even though I, I ended up buying this. So it's a uh, History Queen, and this is book two in a duology. But they're really expensive online. It's like sixteen, seventeen dollars. I got it for four fifty. So I think the first book is on sale, at least a little bit online. So I might buy it. I know that Nicolette from um, 
falling over books has read it and she really enjoyed it um I think maybe I don't even remember what she said about it. I just know that she read it and they had a Kay Webster book his Torin or something but I don't know if I'd like that they had a Willow Winters book but it was like 200 pages and I was just like I don't want to buy like a super short book I don't know what's wrong with me it was supposed to be a romantic suspense but like nothing about the synopsis sounded romantic suspensey so I don't know but I walked out with that I just want to buy an indie book they had a ton they're the ones that had the Jay Redmersky series they had a trilogy by Karina Halley but I didn't want to buy the whole trilogy and I did felt bad just buying book one and just leaving books two and three there because they probably won't sell so that's what I did. I'll probably end up seeing, I hope that Prime Day has a coupon. We'll see. That's coming up on Monday. Tomorrow. Today's the 14th. So that should be soon, but I'm on my way to my third location. It's about 15 minutes from here. If I can make this light because nobody's moving and it's going to turn uh, red. So we'll see how far I get into that. Um, I've just been listening to some music while I'm driving. Um, Ed Sheeran's new collaboration came out and I am loving that so much um his song south of the border with camilla cabello perfection we you drive your car oh, i hate it when people have no urgency to make it through a light i'm like i don't want to sit here for another two minutes on this light i do want to talk about some of my favorite people are on booktube now don't worry i'm at a red light um my friend lacy from book lovers for life is on youtube now so you better be following her and Lisa from Remarkably Lisa on Instagram is on BookTube now, so you better go follow her too. I'll link them down below. I love how there's more romance on BookTube now. I feel like romance really dominated the blogging world, um, or at least it was just like a lot more seen in the blogging world. And then on Instagram, romance is like heavy in the Instagram world, at least the people that I follow. But there wasn't a lot on YouTube, and now tons of people are joining. And I don't know why they're all deciding to join right now. I've been on here for four years talking about my romances. So, yeah. But that's exciting. I'm super excited now because I've already been to these two stores that I've gone to already. And so I really want to see what the next three have because I haven't been to them yet. I haven't been to them in quite a while because these are the three that are pretty out of the way. The one I'm going to next is the oldest one that I know of in my town so this one's the one I would go to in high school it's right next to where a dollar theater used to be and so my friends and I well my friends and I my sister and my best friend really would go to uh the dollar theater to see a movie for a buck until they changed it to a dollar 75 and then it's kind of like the in between the theater and Redbox. that's what they would show there so when it wasn't in regular theaters anymore but it wasn't at Redbox yet when Redbox was still like mailing to your home do you guys remember that but um we would go to the Dollar Theater because we loved movies. Our best friend worked in a movie theater too, um, but not that one. Once she's got the job at the actual movie theater, we saw free movies all the time with her, but we would always go to Half Price Books right after it, and so this location has been there for at least 10 years. The one I just went to is pretty new. I don't know how long the first one I went to has been here because I didn't live over there. That's kind of farther out of the way from where I grew up. It's hard to explain. Everything's connected to 270 though, which is nice if you live in Columbus. Okay, um, I've been talking for way too long now, but I'm gonna go and talk to you. I probably won't talk to you right after this next one I go to because I need my map to get to the one that's actually downtown in Columbus. So I'll talk to you guys after two locations. So bye. You guys, this, I just went to my fourth location. I gotta drive though. Um, they had a gazillion motorcycle romances. So I got these three, two by Ann Malcolm and then one by KB Winters. Um, I'll show you guys them later. So I got to drive, but there were so many MC romances there. And I was just like, why did I not bring other people with me <sighs> so that they could buy them for me? Oh my God. So many. There were a lot that like are like, I don't know if they like went to a sign like I had before for motorcycle romances and just, but they weren't signed. So I don't know why they just like bought all of them and sold them to have price books. Um, that's amazing. I did get the Duke and I by Julia Quinn at the last one that I went to with the third location. I'm on my way to my last one. I think I remember how to get there. I might need to end this video, um, this clip a little early so that I can uh, figure out how to get there. But glad I got this. This is what I used my coupon on. So it was only like $2. I spent $20 at last one on the three books. I only have one 50% off coupon. Mm. It probably would have been cheaper if I had a 20% off, honestly, when they do this 20% off, because I bought three books.
books, um, but it's fine. I saved like four dollars on one book, but twenty for three is really good because typically it's like sixteen for one book, so it's almost forty dollars. It's over forty dollars for three books typically, and I spent twenty, so I spent about half price. It's half price books. That's what you do. I wanted all the motorcycle romances, but I stopped myself. I got the two in the series that had the prettiest covers because like this cover so pretty and I'm pretty sure they're MC romances why are you pulled over dude you're like pulled up onto the whatever whatever just let people do what they're doing oh, I really need to go to the bathroom though because I drank my whole pop but it's okay I really hope this is an okay angle and I don't like look ridiculous driving this whole time but I'm on my way and my last one's 25 minutes away it's the furthest away oh, it's the one I discovered when I moved out to the apartment with my sister because we don't ever go that far away because it's like 45 minutes to my parents' house. Am I going the right way? I am. Okay. I don't think. I'm just going to go through the red light. Hopefully nobody goes. I have to go this way and then I have to catch 670. There's so many stinking highways that are so confusing. But I hope I'm going the right way. But then I don't know how to go after that. So I'm probably going to end this here and then update you my way home. I'm on my, my way to the last one just after 11, so I'm making good time. I wanted to get home before noon, and I'll probably get home like right around noon, a little afternoon. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get my math up. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so <laughs> I'm pulling out. There's a really creepy guy in the car next to me, and it has like trash all up on the top. No offense if you got trash on the top of your car, but doesn't look so nice um and like books strewn up there and like papers so I finished the last location which I have had really good luck in before they had the monster and eyes with jam dar hour last time I was there um they didn't have really anything good I ended up getting an Amanda Boucher book so I got this one I show you while I'm driving and it was two bucks so I spent like thirty dollars today forty dollars thirty six I spent thirty six dollars today and I got three four five six seven books including one new hardcover YA three indie and two mass markets so not too bad um, it is eleven fifty five warm. I've eaten my snacks already. I got a granola bar and gummies. I'm hungry. It's hot out. You can probably hear my air conditioning going and it's not even that high right now because I'm trying to save you guys the sound. Um, but that's it. I got really good books. Seven books today. Not too bad. I expected to find better indie books, but it's super hit or miss. So people are saying like, I'm super lucky with my bookstores because there's never have anything and it doesn't happen a lot finding really good indie books um it just occasionally happens and sometimes get super lucky especially the ones super close to me I found some really good ones there oh my god the lights take you forever to change I just want to go home and then I can go to my parents house and get my pups because I left them there because I was going to be gone all day so <sighs> I'm super excited about all these books, mostly because of the used bookathon, which is going to happen um, in August, which I'm hosting with Kayla from Literature Reads. So this was perfect timing that this sale was going on right now because the used bookathon is all about reading used books, and one of the categories is read a book from your favorite bookstore, which of course is half price books for me. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I think I'll end it here. I don't really have much more to say and I think this is already like 20 minutes long at least so it's gonna be a pain to edit because it's on my phone and my computer hates my phone because my computer is eight years old it's eight years old my computer is pretty old it got me all through college and four years of teaching so yeah hopefully this goes well but I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you enjoyed coming along like this while I'm driving um, if you want me to do it again next time I do this, let me know. And that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.